Hey guys, how's it going? I uh, hope everyone's doing well. I'm back with another Blu-ray collection update. I have three to show you this week. Um, I'm never going to be a guy who has like a stack of movies, so as I get stuff in, I'm just going to kind of show them off, and that'll be kind of my, my thing. Uh, so like I said, three to show you here. Uh, the first one is Arrival, starring Amy Adams, Jeremy Renner, and Forrest Whitaker. Uh, I saw this probably about two months ago, and um, really, really loved it. Uh, it was it was weird. It was it was a movie that I I was like you know it was it was a slow burn, um, and I enjoyed it, but I didn't like it until the the twist or the reveal at the end, uh, which really threw threw I put it over the top for me. I totally see why it was up for Best Picture. Um, totally see why it didn't win Best Picture, but I can see why it was up. It was a nice different take on the alien invasion movie. It wasn't explosions. It wasn't you know someone's out to save the world. It was. It was more of like a, a Close Encounters of the Third Kind type alien movie. There was, you know, a lot more questions and, and kind of communicating. Uh, not really, again, so much Will Smith in a spaceship blowing aliens up. Um, I loved the, just the, I loved the design of the, of the ships. I thought that was great. Um, I liked Amy Adams. Uh, Jeremy Renner probably, he was part of the story, but really did not have to be in the movie. It was, uh, he had such a small role, despite being a, a you know, a big, or major part of the movie, he really had a, a very tiny role. Uh, he didn't really add anything to the movie, um, but it was great. I, I, I liked the design of the aliens, uh, completely different. They look more like octopus than than what we normally see in, in these types of movies. Um, I got this for $10 off a website that I, that I go to to buy movies and video games, and i um, really happy to, to get it. I look on the this person, whoever bought it, paid $28 for it. So. Uh, to add this for, for 10 bucks was, was really nice. Uh, next was uh, Mad Max Fury Road. Uh, this was one that I really enjoyed, but I think is a bit overrated in the sense of, of um, you know, people's obsession with it. It was a really fun movie, it's, don't get me wrong, but uh, and I'm a huge um, Tom Hardy fan, and Charlize Theron was great in it as well. It was up for Best Picture, I don't really know why. I think it was more of just the Academy trying to appeal to a larger audience. I love the just the feel of it. It was very gritty and dirty and and uh, very industrial. It was it was it was a really really fun movie. But I just, I, I don't see the the big hype in it. I got this uh, online. I think I paid six dollars and I had no. I think it was six seventy five with shipping, and I think I had like six dollars in my PayPal. So I think I actually uh, sold uh, a digital code of something else that I had bought. Um, so yeah, for seventy five cents, I'll, I mean gladly I'll add it, but. Um, it's one I don't know what the hype is. I, 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 it's a fun movie. Uh, it's just a, like a two-hour car chase. Um, but yeah, I'm still happy to have it. It has the slip cover. Um, and so, yeah, I got it. Added for, for on the cheap. And then the last movie uh, is, uh, I picked this up uh, from Best Buy, was Spotlight. Uh, this one, Best Picture, last year. So for 2000, I guess, the movie came out in 2015, won the, the Best Picture at the Oscars. Um, it is about the, the story of the Boston Globe uh, blowing up the, uh, I guess, molestations from the Catholic Church, uh, priests uh, to kids. Um, it was fantastic. It's a great, great cast. I was listening to a great uh, movie podcast, Mad About Movies, and, and they, I went back and listened to this episode, and they made a good point. There's so many great performances in this movie that it was like, they kind of canceled each other out. Um, I, I know... Uh, Rachel McAdams was up for, I think, the Best Supporting Actress, and I believe Mark Ruffalo as well. I can't remember if Mark Ruffalo won, but I believe he was up for, for Best, um, for best uh, Supporting Actor. But, I mean, just going down the list of, of, you know, of people in this, John Slattery, Lee Schreiber, Michael Keaton was awesome, uh, Stanley Tucci was fantastic. Really, really great acting movie. Um, so uh, this was, I think, 10 bucks. I... Um, so I wanted, I had, it was on my like radar to pick up for a while and then I saw it there and I was just like, you know what, I'm not going to, I'm not going to keep passing it up. So, uh, spotlight, uh, added to the collection. Um, some movies I've, I've seen lately that I don't have, uh, the physical copy of, uh, I saw Passengers the other day with, um, with Chris Pine, I think it's yeah, Chris Pratt. I always get him and Pine mixed up. Chris Pratt and, uh, Jennifer Lawrence. I actually really enjoyed it. I had, had gotten, I think like a 30 something on Rotten Tomatoes. I was on a flight to, to California, so I had some time to kill, and I, I checked it out. Uh, I actually really enjoyed it. Uh, it wasn't a great movie, but it was a good, you know, love story type thing. I hated the ending. Um, it just kind of just ended, and you don't really know what happens. 
Um, so I wasn't a huge fan of that, um, but it was great. And, and Jennifer Lawrence is is always, uh, you know, turns into a pretty good performance. Um, I saw Hell or High Water as well with, um, I think that was Chris Pine and uh, Jeff Bridges. And I actually really enjoyed that one. Um, I don't know if I would say it should have deserved being up for best, um, best picture, but it, it was still a fun, you know, cop and robber type movie. Uh, it had some really good, like just, it was a really funny movie, which I wasn't expecting. Um, not like laugh out loud, but just some of the dialogue exchange was really good. And I'm a huge Jeff Bridges fan. Um, I also saw Man Down with um, Shia LaBeouf. That one was, it was okay. Uh, I think would be the best way I could describe that movie. Uh, it, the storyline in that is he uh, is a veteran who develops PTSD after uh, an event or two events kind of happening simultaneously. And I just felt it was in kind of bad taste. Uh, I read some reviews that felt the same, uh, kind of making a silliness out of PTSD. I don't know if that was what they were going for, but it kind of came off as such. Um, but Child of Off was actually really good in it. And um, I, I don't know, I wouldn't recommend it, but I thought it was, it was pretty good. And um, so yeah, that's the stuff I, I've been watching uh, as of late. And um, yeah, this is stuff I picked up. I should have some more stuff coming as well. Um, so as always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.